What's up YouTube? Back at you guys with another video. Today it's super cold outside so we got some new parts in for the 1975 Caprice uh, and we will be installing this. I probably already put it in the title but uh, I know people ain't running TVs no more but I got a big hole in the roof so we're gonna run a nice up-to-date TV up there and we'll cover that up until we get a new headliner. So it's just gonna have to do. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that post notification bell. That way you don't miss any videos. And we'll see y'all right after this intro. Peace. You know I came through. You know I came through. You know I came through with the fuego. You know I came through. Hey, you know I came through. You know I came through with the fuego. You know I came through. Hey, you know I came through. Nowadays, I cannot lay low. I cannot lay low. Yeah. You know I came through with the fuego. You know I came through with the fuego. You know I came through with the hot I shit. Do. Talk of the time, I'm a topic. The topic. This young is so fly, I can cockpit. <laughs> if I ain't the party, it's not lit. Stop all the talking, I'm popping. But to be honest, this shit is not shocking. I want to be rich at the moment. Alright, guys, if you're new to the channel, I'm going to show y'all the car a little bit. She is super dusty. We did not drive her at all the whole summer. I just shut the hood. It's got a big block 454 in it, custom interior, Lamborghini paint. This paint job is maybe 12 years old, so it held up for a long time. But what the video is about is this TV right here today. We're going to bust it open, see what we got here. I tried to set this deal right here. We don't scratch anything. This me recording today, guys. So y'all bear with me. Yeah, that's gonna be hard to pull out. Give me one second. All right, so we're gonna be running the Xtra CM one seven three HD. Um. I forgot what all it does. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I forgot. Because I ordered this so long ago. I uh, just haven't installed it because we've been busy on the 70 uh the 72. Hold on guys. And if you're new, I usually don't record like this. I usually have somebody recording for me. A tripod set up or something like that. But there it is, it's gonna have LEDs all the way around. You can Bluetooth to it, use a touch screen, and then you're gonna have the LED lights. And I forgot how big it is. The one I got in there right now was a 20, 20 inch, I think. I think this one was a little bit smaller. So it comes with the remote, hardware, mounting plate, um, manual. I was trying to see if it showed what size it is, but I'll put everything in the description, guys, because I gotta remember where I ordered it. At. So it's got a lot of connections. That's a good thing. We got our power doors. Okay, so like if you want the light to cut on and cut off when you hit the door, I think that's going to be like a memory. That's a super big mounting plate. One screw in the middle. So we're going to have to, we're going to have to look at this and make sure we'll be able to mount this in here. Or right, we're going to have to make something. But this is the old one. This one's been in here probably uh i don't know maybe 15 years so it's all broken uh when we put the <laughs> four twelves in here i mean it just destroyed that thing it started glitching and then didn't work at all anymore so first things first let's get that down and let's look at the mounting okay i looked at the instructions we got it open and the mounting uh bracket is on here i thought it came with a separate bracket but it doesn't so you gotta unscrew all these 
and then we'll mount that in the car and then you hook this bracket up to the TV we'll get a little pick and pop all these open but yeah so let me get these all open we'll get these unscrewed we'll take the old TV down we'll see if we can mount the bracket all right we got our little tabs popped up with our pick right there now we're just going to unscrew all of these and then we'll move on to the inside of the car. Before we get too far into the video, we got to make sure we're able to uh, mount this thing because we might have to make like an additional bracket so we don't drill holes through the roof or nothing like that so gotta be careful there you don't want to drill a hole through your roof that's for sure so we'll flip it over might need to mark that so we know which way it went i got a little marker somewhere but yeah we'll mark that and then we'll take this piece and put it up in there and see what we look like. All right, we got our plate off. And the screen is 17.3. So you can say a 17-inch screen. <clears throat> we inside today because it's too cold to work outside on the 72. But it's still cold in here. So let me see. How many screws I got left in here? Seems like just one. Grab my screwdriver. I think I'm be able to hold this camera and do that. But we'll go ahead and knock her down. And like I said, this TV been up there so long. I don't know about the wiring or nothing. Hopefully, we can finish this video tonight. If not, we'll finish it tomorrow. But let me get this unscrewed and I'll show y'all what we got. All right, we got it down, guys. There was only like one more screw holding it. So this wiring's a little bit old and outdated. And it looks like the RCA jacks are kind of rigged up or something. So, uh, but yeah, y'all see why I didn't want it to just stay like that because look I have a big old hole right here so I have the headliner done so might as well throw us another TV up here for now um golly there's some crazy wiring in here so let me um <laughs> let me figure out what's what I'm gonna get my flashlight we'll shine a light up in here and see how we can uh, put that bracket up and run the wiring. All right, it's taking a little longer than I thought, guys. So we might have to finish this up tomorrow, but I am chasing out the wires. Um, I just twisted two of them on there just to see. They're not hooked up, like right, like hooked up, hooked up. But just to see if it's gonna come on. Um, let's see. Yet. So, we might have to run this. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking this is going to be the constant, the B+. Plus. So, we might have to run that on there, too. Let's touch that on there, see if we get anything. Hold on, let me twist it on there, guys. Cool. I got the... Excuse me. I got the B positive wire hooked up. Uh, the deck is on. Keys on. And it looks like uh, we got a power light on. So I wish I could show y'all. Golly. Let me see if I can get the camera back here. All right. There we go. So we got a power light on. Okay. There we go. 
She's lighting up green. Let's hit that light comes on. Gotta hook that up separate, I bet. Cool. Slide the camera back out of here. Let's see if we got a blue screen because we don't have anything else hooked up yet. Yep, screen is blue. So, we got power. Yep, we're good. So, yeah, we're, all right, what we'll do, I gotta run new RCA jacks. I gotta get screws. Let me show y'all. I gotta get screws to mount up here that won't go through the roof. So I need some short ones. We'll run RCA jacks. We'll clean up these wires. We'll put butt connectors, no tape. And we'll get this thing knocked out, guys. So we'll finish up tomorrow. But for y'all, it'll be here in a little bit. We are back. Let me step through here. Oh my goodness. We're back. It's the next day for me. We got RCA jacks. I didn't mess with anything off camera. It's still the same. We did get power. So now it's taking stuff apart. And I hate tearing up stuff in my baby. But oh well. We got to get this stuff out. So, yep, that's the plan. Uh, really, honestly, I need to be mounting that plate up there first before you do anything. That, and then running the wires. So, hmm, I don't know, guys. What do I think we should do first? Should we pull all this stuff out? Because we're going to have to run the RCA jacks back here to the deck oh and also that screen does so much stuff uh video in video out audio everything i mean it does everything all we're gonna need is um video in and then we might do video out just in case somebody plugs up like their phone back there um they can hook it up to it and they can watch whatever they watch and i can still listen to what i want to listen to what y'all think i think that's a good idea oh excuse me and also i didn't find the uh it used to be a original wire up here for the dome light which would have been cool so like the lights would come on when you open the door but I don't know what happened to them. And it, it used to be a TV right here in the visor. AP broke that. If you're watching AP, yeah, you broke that. But it was old. It didn't work. This one don't work. Uh, we'll be taking that stuff down and probably putting original visors up eventually. But I'm going to tell you guys one thing. <laughs> this is the first time I worked in the garage all year. So I got to after this, I got to get this thing cleaned up. And I mean, it's clutter everywhere and it's hard to work in here. I got it warmed up a little bit with the heater. But uh Yeah, we'll we'll get busy. I know which wire it is. So, I mean, that's nothing too terrible. Just uh working with one hand i might have my son come out here and help out a little bit here in a minute so let's see i burn the light too but anyways it's gonna be see the way you can tell see that that's a single wire hooked up let's see See that single wire right there? Where's my light? I got all the lights on in here too, in the garage. But this is an old build, guys. This is nothing new. This is my baby. It ain't going nowhere. 
it's been with us forever so but look you can see that single wire right there boom that's gonna be audio I mean video sorry video out um, I don't know if it's a video in on this deck though we don't need a video in do we let me think about that but for sure that's video out so we'll route that wire we're not gonna hide anything today we'll just route the wires and uh we'll see if we get a signal so that's what we got in the story of my life my battery's fixing to go dead great i tell you what that wire did not want to come out of there it was all over the freaking place. But here's the end of it. We got it out. So I'll fish it through all this other stuff. Um, I'm probably off camera. I'll fix some of this stuff up. This is like lights. This is all old school stuff. This is the other TVs that used to be up there. Well, one still up there. A lot of stuff we don't even need. I don't even know. This is like lights. So, yeah. That's going to be a lot of stuff right there. That we're not going to even use anymore. Ever again. But, y'all see. We got her free. So, let's pull that on out. Figure out all that other stuff later. And, uh. It's dark up there. We'll see how we got this stuff ran. Uh, let me finish pulling it out. We'll slide the new wire through. And on to the next. Alright. Fishing her on out now. See her coming. Through the headliner. The rest I got left. <laughs> Cool. There we go. So that's all wire out of there. There it is. Man, I I need a bigger house. Well, bigger garage. I'm happy with my house. You know, I'm happy with what God done blessed us with. But like just work area, yeah. I need a bigger, bigger work area. So now, pretty much got all that stuff out of the way. We can get this piece of junk out of here, out my way. And, uh, there we go. This thing's old. This brand probably don't even exist anymore. down look I got engine parts like everywhere that I don't need I'm gonna just have to start throwing some stuff away I got like a whole engine rebuild kit pistons everything I got the block all that I just I just don't have time for none of that stuff guys everything dirty too well cars are already dirty but not the inside all right let me run this we'll check signal we'll see how it looks and then we'll boat our plate up i'm thinking i really need to do the plate now you know what let me stop this we need to get that plate on there before we have a whole bunch of stuff in the way and i can't do it so yeah let me let me get let me see what I need. I got screws and stuff. Let me get some power tools. Uh, let me see what kind of holes we need to drill. Yeah, let me grab that stuff. Looks like it. So it's gonna be like this, guys. And uh, now we gotta find some holes to drill without 
drilling a hole through the roof. It'd be nice if it just goes to the old holes. The old hole. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Let's see. This is a lot bigger than the other one. We really... Man, we really need to cut some of this so I can see what I'm doing. We got one in there solid good. We're going to take that out, of course. Um, we're going to put two washers and then self-tappers and hope that we don't go through the roof. This is my plan. That one didn't go through the roof, so um, we, uh, we got three more to go. We gotta make sure we're like right on the beam. To be right there. And we're gonna shoot. So, hold on. Find the beam. And I also ran the RCA wire just so y'all can see what's going on here in a minute. Uh, hold up. Why is that so different? There we go. All right, so what we're gonna do now, we got the RCA cable ran. This is gonna go to AVN. That's AV, AVN, AVN1. So we'll just go AVN. So we ain't gotta guess. We'll run that right there. Um, all this crap needs to go. So, you know what? No, I need to cut that stuff off right now. We had to get on this side so you can hold a light over here where it ain't shining in brother's face and the camera, I mean. Yeah, right over there. So guys, let's uh, yeah, I don't know why so many wires going through here, but we will. I'm gonna cut some of this stuff out. We're gonna have to. So we don't need, sure don't need this one. I don't know what all these, I don't know why I put all these in here all them years ago. But we don't need that. We don't need that. All right, why do you turn your key on? Let's see if it still works without that hot wire. Got it. You got the key all the way on? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, now the lights ain't coming on. Maybe I should have left that wire, guys. Uh-oh. Dang it. It's all green. Nah, it's working. But don't tell me that light was for the... That wire was for the lights. It might have been. Alright, turn it off. Turn your key off. All right, turn it all the way back on. There we go. Okay, so lights are good. All right, let's check uh, dome light. Okay. Dome light works. All right. T 
TV works, so we're good. So we don't need that wire. We cut that, we'll pull that out. And then these two, you wanna kinda leave them a little bit long so you, you got room to work. So what we're gonna do right now, uh, turn your key off, buddy. We got butt connectors, so we'll go ahead and butt connect these right here. Um, let me go ahead and get these because that's going to be kind of boring. I'm going to go ahead and shorten these up. We'll butt connect these and we'll turn y'all back on. Alright guys, so we got everything butt connected up. We went ahead and ran the yellow wire with the hot. I'm not worried about it resetting because we're not going to have anything hooked up back here that we got to keep resetting or anything like that. Um, all the lights are working. So that's perfect. Wiring is done. Looking way better than it did. And now all we got to do is uh, hang it up pretty much. Well, let's show y'all. So, all right, we'll check lights. All the lights are working. We'll check dome light. Dome light's working. Cool. All right, power on. And this is 17.5 screen. So a little bit smaller than what we had in here, which is better. I think it's better. Yeah. Um, we're having trouble with the power button for some reason, but come on. Probably because of tape. There we go. Yep, yeah, that was a tape. All right, so she's coming on. Got all our wires hit, looking good. Well, not hit, but yeah, no. you know what I mean. All right, let's see if she'll pick up a signal. My son's having a little nose issue over here. AV. No signal. AV2. Uh, shoot. Down. AV. Down. AV2. Bam. There we go. We need to resize it though. It's like <laughs> off the screen. Yeah, it's off the screen. So pretty sure it's a resize somewhere. But boom, there you go. It's gonna be like that. So we're pretty much done. Um let's try to get this is gonna be the hard part. We're going to try to get at least two screws in it. Or at least one somewhere. Most of the weight is going to be right here. So we'll try to get this front one in. Uh, Alright guys, we got two screws in it. That was a tussle. I tell you. Trying to hold that up like that. It was pretty rough. <coughs> All right, we got another one in. Whew. We got that one in, this one, and this one. We got three in. So it's holding it pretty good. Get that other one. See if we can get this one. 
Ain't no wires hanging out, right? Okay, now we're good. Everybody sniffling. It's time for us to go in the house, guys. We this should be it for the day. And I knew for some reason that one wasn't gonna go. It's all good. We got plenty holding it. Cause that's the where all the wires are at. So as long as we got all these holding it. We'll be just fine. Let's see, we'll put, we'll put, no, nope, we're good. There was just one left. And that one's where the wires are, so. Yeah, we're not doing that one. That's fine. I'll push them in. You got that one ready? All right. <coughs> we was gonna turn on the movie so we could show y'all how it looks, but what is the top? Top of B-roll. Yeah. 